हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज द फोर्थ लेक्चर एंड टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट लूप्स एंड कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स सो लेट एस बिगिन विद इफ कंडीशन सो इफ कंडीशन इज इन जनरल सिमिलर टू द वे इट वर्क इन सी दैट इज इफ द एक्सप्रेशन इज ट्रू और फॉल्स देन इट विल एवेल्युएट एंड अकॉर्डिंगली इट विल एग्जीक्यूट द सेट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स सो दिस इज हाउ इट वर्क इफ द एक्सप्रेशन इज ट्रू then the upper statement will be executed if the expression is false then the lower set of statements will be executed let us see one example assume x is set to 1 now if the value of x is 2 then x is 2 is printed or if x is not 2 then x is not 2 will be printed in according to this code so the output of this code will be x is not 2 we will see some more examples of if condition related to the applications later on this is just to give you the idea of how the syntax of if condition is in tcl now let us go to while loop while loop is also functioning very similar to the way it works in c it is entry controlled loop and checks for the condition before entering the loop and if the condition is satisfied then the body of loop will be executed and it keeps on looping until the condition evaluates to false if the condition is evaluated to false then the loop will stop and exit out let us see one example where x is set to 0 now the code here will keep on looping until this value is lesser than 6 so this loop will come out of the loop when the value of x will reach to the 6 and until then it will keep on looping like this so the output will look something like this now let us move to for loop the syntax is as follows which is very similar to what we follow in c in this example all the statements are color coded all three elements of for loop are put in separate curly braces for example initialization statements correspond to setting the initial value of i to be 0 conditional statement allows the loop to run until the value of i is lesser than 2 increment element will increment the value of i after each execution of loop hence the output of loop will be as follows for the reference we have put put a statement in all elements of for loop this will help understand the flow of for loop during initialization the start value will be printed after that the condition is checked and condition is satisfied here so it will execute this body i inside first loop with the value of i to be 0 will be printed and after that increment will happen and this statement i after i n c r with incremented value of i will be printed and after that it will go inside this loop and i inside first loop will be in printed with value of i that is 1 and then in gain it will go and check for the condition so i is still lesser than 2 it will print again so it will go here increment it and i after increment will be printed but then again when condition is checked at that time condition will fail and hence this will come out of the loop so flow of for loop will be something like this declaring the initial value of variable will be first step that is initialization step after that it will check whether the condition is satisfied or not if the condition is not satisfied it will in take take out of the loop it will exit the loop in that statement itself but let's say if condition is satisfied then it will execute the body and then again increment the variable so increment will happen at the last and then it will again check the condition and if condition is satisfied it will keep on executing as soon as condition is set not satisfied it will come out so this is how for loop works besides this we should note that this is mostly used for referencing the order list of arrays so it can be used for arrays with ordered list by for accessing them by their indices let's say if there is unordered list of arrays then it will be difficult to use for loop for that we have a special for each loop we will see that later on thank you